stop, Kitty. Don't litter on the streets. It's bad manners. Sorry. Wait, Kitty. That's not a good idea either. But why? Hmm. That's a fascinating question. Hey, friends. Given the need to manage the ever-increasing amount of waste on Earth, dumping it into the volcano might look like a good alternative, isn't it? Well, but the truth is stranger than fiction. Yes. So in today's episode, let us look into the pros and cons behind an answer to an explosive question. What if we dumped our trash into volcanoes? Zoom in. It is estimated that more than half the world's population has no access to regular garbage accumulation. This eventually results in the creation of illegal dump sites that account for more than 40% of the world's trash. So, to fight the escalating global waste crisis, couldn't we just throw all this piled up garbage in volcanoes? After all, volcanoes are filled with magma that could melt anything without a trace. Well, although it sounds like a perfect solution for this stinky problem, in reality, it wouldn't be that easy. Why? Let's look into it one by one. First hindrance to this Herculean task of garbage dumping would be finding an active volcano with a lava lake. Yes, at the present time, there are only about 1500 active volcanoes on the entire Earth. And most of them are located far away from the human population. Thus, the next big hurdle will be transporting all the waste to an active volcano as it could be pretty expensive and would cost a lot of fuel money and time. But even if you find a way to export the garbage, we need to be sure that that particular volcano is suitable for dumping the trash. Yes, the ideal trash incinerator would be a slow erupting volcano that gradually spews lava out onto the surface of the earth. But unfortunately, these are very rare and we are more likely to come across their raging relatives called stratovolcanoes. These exploding mountains have the tendency to erupt with a bang when the pressure of hot gas and magma inside them increases too much. So, we need not be anywhere near them when they are in the mood of an explosion. But, even if we are lucky enough to find the ideal active shield volcano, getting anywhere close to it could be extremely risky for the person throwing the trash into it. Yes, in addition to dangers like poisonous gases and lava splatter at the peak of a volcano, when cold debris hits a large mass of lava, it can cause some spectacular explosions around it. So. If anyone mistakenly gets hit by this burning lava, it will be fatal in most instances. But in case we manage to dump the garbage into the volcano, it's vital to know that not all material completely melts into the lava. This means that the remaining scraps could erupt out and pollute the surrounding areas, especially rivers and seas. Plus, not to mention the fact that you'll be burning a bunch of trash and any smoke generated will go straight into the atmosphere, creating a lot of air pollution. So, in short, dumping our trash into the volcanoes seems to be a terrible plan. It's better to stick with current trash incinerators that ensure that smoke from burning trash doesn't get into our air and is far less expensive. However, we really need to find a way to convert 
most of this trash into new sources of energy. So my dear friends, put on your thinking cap and build something to solve this ever-growing problem. And if you want to know more about volcanoes, do check our video on the same. The link is in the description below. Trivia time! Did you know Americans generate about four and a half pounds of trash per person per day or 254.1 million tons total per year? Also, around 73% of beach litter worldwide is plastic. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind.